Drek Samboang, congratulations. You beat yeah. Rahul Raju, the Kerala crusher, in style. That was quick. Did you even break a sweat? How are you feeling? Yeah, I, I feel great, you know. I, I feel, you know, I feel very happy for this victory. What was the difference in the fight, do you think, that led to the finish? You know, uh, I just I just followed the game plan, you know. Um, keep the pressure and then keep the distance, you know, because um, Rahul Raju was way taller than me. So I need to, I need to push push him in my range and then yeah and then that's the goal to to knock him out or to finish to finish him how are you feeling at lightweight yeah i feel very very good because the last time that i fight was flyweight and then yeah because i remember yesterday in weigh-ins before i before i uh, step up in the scale I eat a lot. <laughs> I eat a lot, and then you know I feel more ener energized. You know every time I train, and then yeah, I think light lightweight is good for me. You weighed in nearly three kilos under the limit. Yeah, you feel like yeah, it's like uh, I'm seventy three, and then the limit was seventy seven. Do you feel like you've still got some growing to do in terms of uh, getting to the right body shape, or are you just happy as you are now? Yeah, I, I'm actually getting worried because my weight, my weight in my weight, my actual weight now is you know it's 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 a little bit you know not a little bit it's very light my weight in lightweight division. That's why, yeah, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting worried before to step in this division, but I think, I, I, I think I'm, I'm good, I'm good, you know, there's, there's nothing to worry now. Do you feel stronger than you've ever felt before in there? Yeah, absolutely, because uh, I feel, I feel my, uh, I feel my body, you know, my body was, was solid, you know. And then my my strike was getting heavy because um, my uh, what what you call this my training camp is more on um, eating a lot <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> eating a lot and then um, getting more power and more explosive at the same time to maintain the speed. Well, yeah, speed was key. You look really quick in there. Do you think that gives you an advantage over other lightweights? Maybe that. You are a bit lighter. Do you think you can be quicker than most lightweights? Yeah, it depends. It depends on the fighter, you know. Um, there, there's uh, some. There's some fighters that also quick and had had a, had a very hand, very very fast hand. But but still, I, I need I need to uh, work a lot on my boxing skills, my striking skills, and then also my grappling skills also. We know Rahul has good ground skills. He tried to take you down straight away. You defended really well. Did the strength feel different to what you're used to? You're used to fighting smaller fighters. Yeah, it's very different. I feel my hands was very heavy, you know. Every time, every time I landed my punches to him, um, I, I feel some, something strange on my hand. You know, I, I, feel, I feel like uh, my hands like, you call that? Like a superhero, you know, one punch. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but 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 it's good, bro. It's good. It's good. Were you concerned about his height? You mentioned it a bit earlier. He's the tallest lightweight in the division. Mm -hmm. Was that part of your game plan to try and negate that height? Uh, actually, um, my game plan, my game plan only is to put him in the pressure, because my my height is not that kind of tall compared to him. So I need to keep the pressure on him and then to keep the distance and yeah, to finish him. Uh, you're now 2-0 oh, with two finishes and one championship. You got three finishes in a row mm. overall in your career. How quickly do you want to make a statement in this division? Are you looking at that top five now? Yeah, I'm looking forward for that. You know, um, I just, you know, um, I, I'm just here only, you know, if one championship gave me a fight again, then I'm going to get it and then... Uh, yeah, I'm just here, you know. Um, I'm, I I train hard, you know. I train I, I train every day, and then I keep I keep uh, pushing harder into the limit, you know. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, I'm I, I'm ready to fight every time anywhere. 
Are you looking at those top contenders right now? Or are you happy to build up slowly in the division? Yeah, um, I actually want to build. I I I actually want to a uh, fight. You know, in you know, not in the top five for now because this lightweight this lightweight division is not you know it's not easy because there's a lot of high caliber here. There's uh all there's Christian Lee you know. So there's a lot of and then there's a Russian also you know so it is not it is not easy to go in in top five maybe one fight and then I I maybe I can go to top five fighters. Who's the guy in this division that you respect the most? Do you think who who is the the biggest name for you in this division who who really has your respect? First Christian Lee, <laughs> and the second Oak Oak because Oak was uh. When I saw his last fight in Christian Lee, he did he did very well. His striking, his ground game is very all very all uh, nice. He he executed all it nice. That's why yeah and yeah uh, maybe Christian Lee, you know Christian Lee. Uh, I uh, I followed him since he since he fight in one championship. Uh, what is it about his style that you respect? Style. Um, Oh, oh, also. And you went from a three-fight losing streak to a three-fight winning streak. What do you think is the reason for that turnaround in your career? Um, uh, for me, you know, um, victory is victory is just only a result of your training, you know. So it doesn't matter to me if uh, if I win or I lost. The thing that I want to is to perform, you know, to, to perform to have a good performance on my fight. So it doesn't matter for me if I win or I lost. The 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 thing that that I want to 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 show in the audience into the to the fight fans is how how I perform, how I perform in the fight. But is there any part of you that thinks this time in your career is even sweeter because you did have adversity, you did go through a losing streak, and now things are going great? Does it feel even better now? Yeah, it it, it feels it feels great for me, you know, because. Um, um, winning is it, winning in the fight is such a big thing also for me because uh, it depends who it de because uh, uh, this will gonna make me you know uh, this will gonna make me if if I'm gonna uh, fight or we're gonna fight in the top five uh, fighters so yeah it's for me winning for me is uh, you know. It's, it's a very, um, you know, it, it's one of my goals also, and to be a champion. How special is the atmosphere at your gym? You've got your sister there. I saw uh, Fabrizio Andrade is, is also now part of the team as well. So what, what's it like over there? Yeah, um, you know, it, for me, um, it's, it's great to have them, you know, because as a... Uh, just like what you said, Denise was in the team also, my, my very own sister. Um, Jeremy Miado, one of the uh, contenders also. So, you know, for me, it's, it's a, for me, it's like a family for me, you know, to have this kind of, uh, to have this kind of uh, teammates, you know, and we're, we're helping each other, you know, in, uh, in, a, in a preparation for our fight, especially uh, when when that when when the pandemic hits in Bangkok, so where uh, we we as a team we help each other how to to help if there's a fight Denise has a fight I help her if I don't have a fight I I help Jeremy you know for his boxing so it is you know for me it is like a it is like a family. How excited are you for your sister's fight uh, her rematch and do you think this time? Things go her way. Yeah, I feel very excited for this match because Denis Denis uh, will gonna show how he gonna it is gonna it is gonna like a redemption, you know, because I know Denis is um, you know Denis is a hardworking uh, fighter. I know her since she started in her career. You know, I'm I'm in her. At, at the very first uh, in her very first in his in her career so you know um i think i think for me this this will gonna be an this this one of the uh one one of this match will gonna be uh one of his 
her goal, no, her goal is to, uh, you know, to finish uh, Sio Hamli. I don't think you took much damage in that fight. How fresh are you feeling and how soon are we going to see you back in there? Yeah, um, you know, maybe uh, after I gonna go back home and then one week after, one week, maybe one week after I rest, you know, with my family. So I think I can, I will gonna train again. And then, yeah, after I'm gonna rest for, for a week, I'm gonna go back to gym and gonna train hard again so yeah um I, i'm you know i'm i'm ready anytime anywhere so you said you'd like to face maybe one guy outside of the top five and then face a ranked opponent can you give us a name if i'm matt hume i say who do you want drex so who do you want next actually one of my dream one of my dream fight is to one of my dream fight is to fight christian lee <laughs> yeah that, that that's my, that's my dream to to fight him why? Why is it your dream fight? Is it because you, you've been watching him so long? What What do you see as, as a special fighter about him? Yeah, because because uh, because ever since when I watch it, when I watch uh, Christian Lee, um, the way he strike, the way he you know he execute his uh, his ground game, you know all of that, uh, it makes me you know it makes me more challenging you know to to fight him because. Um, um, he's my idol also. He's my idol also. Uh, since uh, one, uh, since he fight in one championship. Do you think you can beat him? Uh, I don't think so. But maybe yeah. It depends. You know, if one championship gonna give us a fight, then I will do my best to beat him. <laughs> awesome. And what about somebody outside of the top five? Maybe on your way to fighting Christian, who would be the perfect next fight for you? Next fight. Um, I don't know. Maybe. Any bro, any, any in the <laughs> light paint bro. It depends on one championship if, if who's going to be my next opponent. Tonight's knockout was so clean. Was that the best knockout of your career? And how does, how does this feeling rate for you? Is this the best moment of your career so far? Yeah, this is one of, the, uh, this is one of my best knockout in my career, you know. That's a clean shot knockout. Well, I think the fans certainly would have enjoyed it. It was beautiful work tonight. Congratulations, Rex. Yeah, thank Great you, sir. Thank you very much.